configuring disk mirroring on Windows Server 2012 R2. Disk mirroring consists of two identical volumes on a two different physical hard disk drives. Any data is written to the mirrored volume is in fact written to both disk drives such that if one disk drive fails, the data will still be available on other disk. In this video tutorial, a mirror set will be created using two similarly sized disk drives connected to Windows Server 2012 R2 system. So let's begin the process by opening a disk management snapping. To open a disk management snapping, you have to right click on start button and select disk management. The system used in this example contains three disk drives, name disk 0, disk 1 and disk 2. Disk 0 is the system disk and disk 1 and disk 2 will be used to create a mirrored volume. So here as you can see the type of our disk 1 and disk 2 is dynamic disk and let's create a new mirrored volume on our disk 1 and disk 2. So select the unallocated space of our disk 1 and right click on it and select new mirrored volume. Click on next on welcome wizard. Now as mentioned earlier a mirror set require minimum two disk drives. Initially the wizard only list the currently selected disk in the selected column and that is disk 1 in our case. In order to proceed one more disk is required. So let's select our disk 2 and let's click on add. Now here as we can see total volume size in megabyte is this. The maximum available space you can assign is this. And if you don't want to assign a full space to mirrored volume you can specify the custom size over here. But for this demonstration purpose I'll be using the entire space of disk 1 and disk 2 to create mirrored volume. So let's click on next. Now on the screen we have to assign the drive letter or path to our mirror volume. By default first available drive letter will be assigned to our mirror volume. And if you want to mount this mirror volume into any empty NTFS folder you can select this option. Let's click on next. Now here you have to specify the file system to format this mirror volume. By default NTFS file system is selected. You can also assign a volume label if you wish. Let's select a perform a quick format to perform a quick format. If you want to enable file and folder level compression you can select this box. Let's click on next and let's click on finish to create a new meter volume. And here we go. Now we have a meter volume ready to use on our Windows Server 2012 R2 system. Let's open my computer. Now here as you can see we have a new volume and the total size of disk is 249 GB. So in this way we can create a disk. So in this way we can configure disk mirroring or software RAID 1 on Windows Server 2012 R2 computer. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.